Jeffco. I play Mark Cohen. I'm Christine Osborne. I am a cop and ensemble. I'm Sophia Fisher. And I play Allie Malika Faith and I'm in the ensemble. Spencer Jones. I play Roger in the White Cat. Hi, I'm Rebecca and I'm the sound technician. I'm Sydney and I am an ensemble. I'm Calvin Taylor. I play the role of Benny in the Wine Cat. This is the first, one of the first shows that I learned like every word to. Um, I had a guinea pig named Maureen when I was 13. I've loved the show for forever. Um, so to be able to play Mark, I mean, is just a dream come true. I haven't stopped pinching myself since we've begun production and it's a thrill to be able to be in the show. I was a teenager when Rip first came out and I instantly fell in love with the music. And then just the thought of getting to do shows with Kevin again, it's been a while. So this show on top of being with Kevin again, it's just, it was a have to, there was no questions. It's just iconic. Like this is one that everybody knows. I mean, it was the first one I was ever introduced to. So why not take a chance, go for it. Make it a leap of faith sometimes. A couple, a few years ago, the person that got me back into theater was doing What You Own. And it was one of those things where it was like, oh, maybe I should listen to a little bit more of this. And then What You Own kind of became my, I am upset right now. This is the comfort song. Rent is incredibly nostalgic for me. So it was one of the first uh, musicals that I saw at the Aeronaut. This is from 2005. And then the movie came out my senior year of high school and it was just a huge deal. So it really was a a catalyst for me finding a love of performing. Eighth grade year, I used to actually play sports and didn't care much for theater until my friend sat me down, um, told me to suck it up and watch it. At the end, had a powerful just emotion just go through my entire body, and ever since, it's been the show that put me in theater. In eighth grade was when I first heard Seasons of Love from Rent, and that's when I discovered that this was probably one of the greatest musicals ever created. But parts that I think people will be talking about. Uh, Christmas bells, I think. It's just such a cacophony of everybody singing together and I think it really encapsulates what being on a New York street is like and obviously love you, Bowen. I think honestly one of the most memorable for people that they're gonna walk out thinking about is contact just like the visual and the song itself and it's kind of a shock value and in Seasons of Love everybody knows it, everybody loves it. I think those are the two big ones. I'm gonna have to go with I'll Cover You Reprise. It is such an emotional toll on the heart and I feel like everybody can relate to it. It's gonna be contact. You got cool visuals and then a hopefully full of theater full of dirty minds out there. That's what they're gonna walk out saying. Hey, you remember the sex song? I like that. <laughs> Tom Collins, full stop. I have never seen the man before, I have never worked with him, but the second he opened his mouth and I heard his voice, it completely punched me in the face. Every single time I'll cover you with Christ, we'll just hit, we'll just hit. Spencer Jones, he kills it as Roger, and to hear that riff on Glory, that riff in One Song Glory is going to really resonate with people. got big ticket issues like you know homelessness and police brutality and things like that that are obviously still deep in our minds and still haven't been solved in 30 years but I think also it deals with personal issues like loneliness and will I be remembered after I die. Police brutality is even bigger in this day and age than it was even when the show was written and LGBTQ is more center of attention now. Um, I'm gonna have to go with the togetherness. Over the course of the show, you see, there's a bunch of random ass people that just somehow get together, become the biggest, weirdest family. I mean, even if you look at recent history, like Rent is about when, you know, the AIDS epidemic first started. People were scared, nobody really knew what to do. Were they gonna live, were they gonna die? Four or five years ago, when COVID hit, we saw people, it was a new disease, people were scared. I'm sure I'm not the only one that had someone die close to them from it. So like, even on that end, it's it's still happening. Problems with the homeless is still an issue. Uh, classism, racism, sexism, it's all 
fill an issue. Whoever considers rent their cup of tea really wants to make a difference in the world. Um, whether they're homosexual or they know someone with AIDS or have AIDS or they, um, they know how anybody in the show feels. <laughs>